Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. For the last five years on this series, we have presented a vast library of evidence for the role of electromagnetism throughout the cosmos. Though institutional science still insists that gravity is king, gravity-centric cosmology has faced an ever-growing crisis in light of countless baffling discoveries with no explanation for the origins of cosmic magnetic fields. Cosmologists have little left but the resort to random collisions, explosions, and gravitational collapse. But if gravity is not king, what is the best evidence for the dominant role of electromagnetism in astrophysical phenomena? In commemoration of the five-year anniversary of this series, we begin our summation of arguably the top 10 points of evidence which most clearly point to an electric universe. Cosmic Magnetic Fields It's a fact known to every high school physics student. Electric currents produce magnetic fields. But this law of physics is almost nowhere evident in the standard astrophysical literature. In fact, with ever finer technological data, the influence of pervasive, powerful magnetic fields at all scales throughout the cosmos has been one of the great surprises of the space age. Although astronomers have had no choice but to acknowledge the existence of magnetic fields in space, it's important to keep an historical context and remember the predictions of the standard gravity-centric cosmology. Consider the following excerpt from the early online NASA feature, Dr. Magneto's Questions and Answers, archived on the official NASA website. On the question, do magnetic fields exist throughout space, the answer reads as follows. On the cosmological scale, there is no data to suggest that magnetic fields are present. They certainly are not important in the dynamics of the universe for any reasonable range of field strengths consistent with present observational constraints. But fast forward to 2011, and the undeniable conundrum is acknowledged in a Universe Today article. It states, The mention of cosmic scale magnetic fields is still likely to be met with an uncomfortable silence in some astronomical circles, and after a bit of foot shuffling and throat clearing, the discussion will be moved on to safer topics. But look, they're out there. They probably do play a role in galaxy evolution, if not galaxy formation, and are certainly a feature of the interstellar medium and the intergalactic medium. But what causes these magnetic fields, which astronomers and astrophysicists had long believed to be quote, not important? To answer this question, let us consider some of the scientific discoveries which clearly affirm the electrical interpretation of cosmic scale magnetic fields. A great shock for scientists came in 2008 with the detection of an astonishingly powerful magnetic field in a so-called young galaxy. A phys.org report on the discovery reads, Astronomers have made the first direct measurement of the magnetic field in a young, distant galaxy, and the result is a big surprise. Looking at a faraway proto-galaxy seen as it was 6.5 billion years ago, the scientists measured a magnetic field at least 10 times stronger than that of our own Milky Way. They had expected just the opposite. And of course, ever finer data across the entire electromagnetic spectrum only deepens the so-called mysteries. In 2014, a comprehensive study was published on the so-called supermassive black holes that are believed to exist at the centers of galaxies. Scientists made the unexpected discovery that powerful magnetic fields play a significant role in the dynamics of the systems. A phys.org report on the study states, The magnetic field strength was confirmed by evidence from jets of gas that shoot away from supermassive black holes. Formed by magnetic fields, these jets produce a radio emission. The new results mean theorists must re-evaluate their understanding of black hole behavior. A contributor to the research stated, The magnetic fields are strong enough to dramatically alter how gas falls into black holes, and how gas produces outflows that we do observe, much stronger than what has usually been assumed. We need to go back and look at our models once again. However, as we will explain as we continue with this list, the standard assumptions about the sources of cosmic jets are also severely challenged by science discovery. The real problem astronomers and astrophysicists face is succinctly summarized in a Scholarpedia page on the origins of galactic magnetic fields. It states, The origin of the first magnetic fields in the universe is still a mystery. 
It calls for a mechanism to sustain and organize the magnetic field. At a smaller scale in our own celestial neighborhood, scientists call on mysterious internal dynamos to explain the magnetic fields of planets and the sun. Dynamos are also now proposed inside of galaxies to explain the galactic magnetic fields. But plasma cosmologists have shown theoretically and experimentally that the magnetic fields in galaxies are due to electric currents flowing into the centers along the spiral arms of the galaxies. It's proposed that when the current reaches the center of the galaxy, it's twisted into an object called a plasmoid, where all of the electromagnetic energy is stored until the plasmoid becomes unstable and ejects matter and jets along the galaxy axis, as observed in deep space. Many of these concepts were published in understandable terms in the book The Big Bang Never Happened. In plasma physics, the plasmoid is the most concentrated form of electromagnetic energy known. As proven experimentally, a plasmoid can store the energy of a room full of capacitors in its tiny, donut-shaped form only a few millimeters across. To contain that energy, that plasmoid has an intense magnetic field self-generated by electric currents twisting themselves together. In our own solar system, the electric universe predicts and explains many of the ongoing surprises for scientists investigating planetary magnetic fields. In the last year, scientists reporting the findings of two major NASA missions to the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, respectively, have shattered all assumptions about the powerful magnetic fields in those planets' highly electrified environments. The predictions of the theory that an internal dynamo deep inside of Jupiter produces the planet's magnetic field have been falsified by NASA's Juno mission. Instead, the magnetic field is both much more powerful and quote irregular than scientists had ever imagined. If such an invisible dynamo does exist, then as Juno scientists admit, it would have to be much closer to the planet's surface than theory can explain. As Juno principal investigator Scott Bolton stated, I didn't expect all the theories to be wrong, but there's motion going on in the planet we did not anticipate. Saturn's magnetic field has proved equally perplexing to scientists on the Cassini mission. A major shock was the discovery that the planet's magnetic field appears to have no discernible tilt. As reported by Imperial College London, Based on data collected by Cassini's magnetometer instrument, Saturn's magnetic field appears to be surprisingly well aligned with the planet's rotation axis. Previously, mission scientists thought that 0.06 degrees would be the lower limit of tilt that could generate the observed magnetic field. However, the results show the tilt may be much less than this. Scientists currently think that planetary magnetic fields require some degree of tilt in order to sustain currents flowing through the liquid metal deep inside the planets. With no tilt, the currents would eventually subside and the field would disappear. The leader of Cassini's magnetometer, Professor Michel Doherty, said of the discovery, the tilt seems to be much smaller than we had previously estimated and quite challenging to explain. So if, like Jupiter, Saturn's magnetic field is not generated by an internal dynamo, what causes and maintains the magnetic fields? In the electric universe, both gas giants are electrically charged bodies that are part of the larger electrical circuits connecting them to the sun. In fact, in 2016, scientists reported their first observation of so-called magnetic ropes traversing the vast distance between the Sun and Saturn and connecting the two bodies. The lead author of a paper in the Geophysical Research Letters says of the finding, Contrary to previous ideas about Saturn's magnetosphere being unlike its terrestrial counterpart, these findings reveal that Saturn at times behaves and interacts with the Sun in much the same way as Earth. But how can the fluid dynamics that NASA envisions explain, quote, rope-like structures that twist and change dynamically and extend the nearly 900 million miles from the Sun to Saturn? The phrase magnetic ropes is used to describe twisted filamentary pathways traversed by charged particles. But to electrical engineers, such terminology reveals the inappropriateness of concepts that came to dominate astronomy and astrophysics in the 20th century. As Professor Donald Scott, author of The Electric Sky, states, Ropes, of course, have beginnings and ends. Magnetic fields do not. This use of language from NASA fails to explain anything and is conceptually wrong as well as misleading. 
The quote, ropes to which the investigators refer are commonly described in plasma science as electrical Birkeland currents. The rope-like structure is not merely a curiosity. It's the structure taken by current flow due to the long-range attraction and short-range repulsion between current filaments. The quote, twisted magnetic fields are simply the signature of the electric current flow. In plasma cosmology, these entwined plasma filaments act as transmission lines carrying quote, field-aligned currents across interplanetary and interstellar space. In recent years, Professor Donald Scott has published his own mathematical modeling of the structure of a Birkeland current, which can be visually identified as counter-rotating cylinders. Critically, this counter-rotation is clearly seen at the north poles of both Saturn and Jupiter. In our next episode, the question of the true source of cosmic magnetic fields will be further explored as we investigate the pervasiveness of filamentary structures throughout the universe, the second of our 10 reasons why the universe is electric. For continuous updates on space news from the electric universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.